Hello, hello, and welcome back to the grist mill, as my soul is slowly ground down into a tiny, bitter little husk, and Perfidious Pete plays XCOM The Long War. Yeah, the team and I are deep inside an alien vessel in the middle of a thoroughly wicked crush of Overwatch creeping, and there seems to be no relief in sight. Well, except for Machiavelli, of course, who's over here dead on the floor. He did get his face melted into a puddle of slop through full cover by a single shot from a Mary Sue Thin Man. Yeah, build 15. Anyway, honestly, I think Nicolo may have gotten off easy on this one. I mean, he did get to die fighting instead of being forced to slowly drink himself to death while trying to alleviate the boredom of sitting in one place and hitting the O key over and over and over. And, I mean, Nicolo, he's free of it. He's free of all the build 15 shenanigans. Build 15 can't hurt Nicolo anymore. He's beyond pain, he's beyond suffering, and beyond the unrelenting boredom of sitting in full cover on Overwatch for 40 turns. Me, though? <laughs> well, I'm beginning to wonder. What if it's not actually Machiavelli who's dead? What if it's me? What if I'm dead and this... What if this is my personal hell? I mean, what if it's just this for the rest of eternity? Overwatch and waiting while a numberless horde of aliens slowly chops my team apart one by one. What if that's it? It's a pretty terrifying thought, but then again, I mean, it is hell, and hell usually is reasonably terrifying. It was Sartre that said hell is other people. Yeah, he was fucking wrong. Hell is Overwatch creeping. It really is. This is the dullest shit of all time. So there are possibly still some aliens in this area. We don't know, but there is one way we can find out. We're going to trip off a motion tracker here just to make sure the area is clear, and it is, in fact, not at all clear. What the? How the fuck can there... Those guys, three meters, that's in the room, Hudson. You better check the motion tracker again. Uh, oh, no, wait, they're right here because we can't stand in those tiles. Okay, well, I guess we'll have Thomas Edison just aye, jump aye, down aye, and aye, shoot aye. one in the back then. Great, they're all in Overwatch. Well, that's fantastic. Didn't do any good, though, because we came over the rail. Suck it, you piece of crap. Oh, he has fucking covering fire. Well, that's brilliant. I guess it's good we did this with Thomas Edison then, because his lightning reflex is still applied. And that means we have to take our in the zone shot at this guy then, because again, he met. You don't also have covering fire, do you? You do not. Well, I suppose that's good. So we'll kill you then? Nope. Alright, we'll come back to our motion tracker unit as soon as this guy is dead. If we come over and drop down right behind him, he should not get this Overwatch. Okay, he did not. Eleanor Roosevelt, shoot this man in the back. And with your hit and run action, why don't you just reload? Okay, so back to our motion tracker unit, because it looked like there was another unit in the room with us. Well, now the motion tracker says there's a guy back here, and then it flipped around until there's a guy over here. But So it says there's a guy right here in this tile. There is no way there is a person in that tile. I, I, I'm, well, unless he's on the roof. Okay, so there's a dude on the roof. How do we want to deal with that? Well, if he drops down, we would like to be in a position where we could get some overwatch before he simply murders someone. So let's bring Marie Curie forward. We'll put her on overwatch. Mary Mallon, I think we'll bring you up and put you on overwatch as well. He is like right above her head. Overwatch then. Um, let's just overwatch around the whole Because, I mean, overwatch creeping is the only thing Bill 15 will let us do. We couldn't actually go up there and try to engage an enemy. That would just be suicidal. We might as well just eat razor blades. <sighs> Alright, so Edison... I mean, we could send Thomas Edison up to the roof. Can you get there this turn? No, but you can get... You know what? That's not... Let's just do that. I want Eleanor Roosevelt back in this room. This. But if we need to do a little rooftop shenanigans with Roosevelt and Edison here, we will do it. There's nothing that says that guy is still up on the roof, by the way, either. He could have moved by now. I'm on it. Oh, well, maybe it was just a Seeker. Okay, well, the Seeker is dead, so if it was a Seeker, he ain't there now. Oh, nope, there he is right there. All right, so our thin friend has decided to go in and out. Interesting. I'm guessing we can probably catch and kill him. He did double move, so... The old master should be able to kill him. We see him, we cannot. 
So the question is, did he have enough movement to make it? He did not. He's right there because that tile is empty. So we're going to run and gun then. You can't be on Overwatch. You could have covering fire. You don't have covering fire, do you? Oh, well, that's the... I don't care about my bonuses. I care about his bonuses. He has Executioner. Adaptive Bone Marrow Leap and Acid Spit. Because, you know, Thin Men... Yeah, they're not uh, ridiculous enough as it is. Is a 78 aim. That range is... Damn, well, you know what? Fuck it. Just kill him. This guy is dead. Or not. Because our point-blank shot from... That makes me supremely salty. A point blank shot with a shotgun somehow did not kill that guy. Well, Eleanor Roosevelt is not going to be able to help. Uh, Thomas Edison, likewise, is not going to be able to help. And Horatio Nelson is not going to be able to help. So either Isaac Newton, he's not going to be able to get a yes, shot from here, no way. Point blank shot at a. How much health did this guy have, by the way? Eight. He had eight health. And our point blank shot from a breaching ammo. Roger, got my eyes on. <sighs> yep. yep. Breaching ammo, shredder ammo. Nah, it's not good Moving enough to, to kill a thin man. Because, well, fuck, the aliens have every advantage. Thin men don't die. They're not actually killable. Back in. They're like, uh, well, they're they're perfect immortals. I mean, you have to I sever their head from their body like the fucking Highlander in order to actually bring them down. Meanwhile, we still have an unknown number of other aliens Moving somewhere out. on this map. Ooh, I mean, we've got that. That's also, again, a problem. It's killing time. Yeah. Specifically, it's time for us to be dead. Well, it says he's going to move. He's not. He's just going to shoot us point blank. Also, where did that come from? Another seeker, too. Okay, fantastic. Well, this is going swimmingly. This guy will shoot the thing, miss, and somehow magically blow up the... All right, what are you going to do? Well, he's going to get killed. One of these shots can't miss, and that guy has one health. I'm so salty. I really, really am quite, quite salty. All right, so Edison, you've got to go try and find that Seeker, because it could be on Overwatch, so that'll be fun. Nobody can see it, huh? All right, well, that sure makes sense. Well, if we can't see it, then it can't see us. So let's have Eleanor Roosevelt run to this corner. And if it's over there, we should have probably used a running gun. It's still invisible for whatever reason. Sure, that's uh, no, totally reasonable. On my way. I was just thinking, you know what? It should be invisible. It should absolutely be invisible, despite the fact that it, I think it double moved. So we're going to hunker down with Marie Curie. Headed there now. We probably really should hunker down with Mary Allen, but I'm going to put her on Run Overwatch anyway forward. in the hopes that we can lure this guy out. Vinci, I don't suppose you can see the Seeker? Nope, it's absolutely invisible, so it's stealthed up wherever it went. And Isaac Newton, go back to your fucking hole and go on Overwatch, because this is all we get to do. Gotta have it. One thin man and two Seekers are causing us this much trouble. You hear that? If it's outside the room, I'm going to be unbelievably pissed off. So we also have a pod of what appears to be Muton somewhere. All right, Thomas Edison. This thing better still damn well be in the room. Of course it's not. Well, I guess we'll just overwatch and wait for it to uncloak itself. That'll be fun, won't it? It's going to be back there strangling Isaac Newton is what it's going to be doing. You know what? Just in case it is back there strangling Isaac Newton, let's go get him some assistance. Because it's going to be back there and go for the strangle on our most exposed unit. We already know what it's going to do. And now we just get to overwatch around the horn again. Yep, that's exactly what it's oh, doing. It's going to go for a strangle on Isaac Newton. It's circling around in the most circuitous bullshit of all time. So here we go. That's, that's that turn taken care of. And I know that Alt-O is a shortcut to put your entire team on overwatch. I actually deliberately have that shortcut disabled. I unbound that key so that I don't accidentally put people on Overwatch. Although, given the way we've been forced to play lately, I should probably rebind it. So there's something, like, over in this area as well, and it's probably another pod of mutons. Well, that's fantastic. I'm not activating a pod of mutons until this sentry is dead. I'm not going to have another super elite sentry jump out and strangle somebody in a critical moment, so let's just keep Overwatch. Thrilling gameplay! Excitement from the long war! You'll marvel as your team does battle with ridiculously what overpowered, stupefying aliens. 
I'm not happy with build 15. I'm not happy that they have made it so that this is the only way to play. If there's only one way to have success at your game, then you have perhaps, you know, maybe not built a fantastic game. I'm just saying, if there's really only one way you can't succeed. Alright, I'm tired of chasing this, waiting for this stupid fucking seeker. It won't show up on the motion tracker, so using the motion tracker is pointless. We know there's another pot of mutons out there, but I can't really afford. If we reload, will he come after us? Maybe. Let's go see if Thomas Edison can get it to shoot at him. Maybe the seeker is on Overwatch, and if we move him, it'll shoot at it. It'll shoot at Edison. As long as we don't leave him too exposed by himself, if we can bait it out, that'll be fine. The Seeker or the Mutons? That's clearly the Seeker. Come on, Seeker. Just decloak yourself. You know what? Fine. I, I, I won't go on Overwatch with anybody just so the damn Seeker will fucking come out. Are you out here? If I walk outside, will I be able to shoot you? Of course. 26% chance to hit, which means I can't take the shot. We'll just go back inside then. Now I am going to Overwatch because now I don't want it to move. It's still over there. This is exciting. Watch, thrill, marvel as they spend 45 turns trying to hunt down one single friggin' enemy. I can't even believe that hit. I'm not salty about not killing it. I'm amazed that it hit at all. I'm not salty about that one either. Less than 100% chance to hit is just a miss. That had to have been a double move. Ah, kill this thing, please, Mary Mallon. Thank you. He's down. Yeah, he's down, all right. All right, so we know there's another pod up in this area somewhere. So let's bring Horatio Go Nelson over me. here. I'm, I'm not leaving this room. I'm, I'm not going to leave this room. Whatever else happens, the rest of this battle is going to happen from inside this room. So I'm just going to set up or bring in aliens into that doorway and killing them with Overwatch as they filter through. That's my entire plan. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Oh yeah. Might as well reload where reloads are applicable. What is going to be the safest way to pop that, to that pod? Location. Well, let's go to the door, open it, and just peek out with a fresh move. That's probably the right way to start. We go over here, we open this door, we peek out. <laughs> It sounds like they're right outside, so we might actually be able to. See, they're like over in that. I don't think we're okay, if we open this door, here. we damn sure better be able to see one. And right, so make sure everybody is in perfect position. Mary Mallon, you know what? You need to reload, but you're unlikely to get a shot anyway, so that's fine. Overwatch, Vinci, Overwatch, Edison, open the door. There's no way I can't. See. Okay. Right. Overwatch. I'm not going out there. I'm on it. I feel, Commander. The thing said there's a guy, like, right around the corner. Unless the audio clue just straight up lied, there's a guy, like, right over here, or down off the edge of that. Nope, he's right there. Alright, so we get a cheap Overwatch shot. These aliens better not get to do that I activated, I get to shoot bullshit either. I'm gonna be real salty. They're coming around to flank us? Man, I would love to get a grenade down there. Anybody get a shot at all? The answer is no. And Thomas Edison is not going to stay there. Could draw him back to here, but I'm actually concerned that that other muton might kill him. 96% chance to hit. Will this activate? No, because he ain't flying. I'm going to say if that'll activate hit and run, I would take the shot. We could just step to here and he'd be flanked. That would activate hit and run. Okay. You know what? Worth the risk. Nobody's on Overwatch. How is he not? How is this not a flank shot? How is this not a flank shot? I'm standing right... That makes me so angry. It makes me so angry when shit like that happens. That guy is absolutely fucking lootly flanked. He is absolutely flanked right there. How, how is this not a flank shot? I'm standing next to him. On the move. Fine. Have it your way, game. You just get a fucking cheat whenever you want. That's no, it's totally cool. Um, enemies can stand in doorways with no cover at all, and it doesn't count as a I'm flank. They can be right next to us and be literally unflanked because you get every goddamn advantage, game. Every single one. 
makes me so salty. So salty when shit like that happens. It's so ridiculous. All right. Da Vinci, Overwatch, Newton. Uh -huh. Actually, I don't think Nelson can see that doorway from his position. So we're going to get a close combat specialist shot here. Which did not get the kill. Brilliant. That means somebody's probably going to get flanked and killed. I am Utah. They're on the move. Yeah, or not. Watch the flanks. They're moving. All right. Well, you're dead then. Dead and gone. All right, Nelson actually can't see that doorway. I would love to have him in a spot where he can actually get Overwatch at the door. What if we move him slightly? I mean, he already took a shot, so we, we can't. Um, let's have Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Newton, I think you're probably... Moving. I can afford to move you to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Roosevelt, I kind of like you where you're at. I'm going to bring you over here. We're going to have you be on Overwatch. On Overwatch. And if I can kill these guys by just butt plugging a door with a pair of assaults, I'm absolutely going to do it. I'm actually going to run and gun. I run and gun. We move to here. Now, because what if we can see an alien? That doesn't work. We run and gun to there, and we drop into Overwatch. Anything that comes through that door gets overwatched by three people. And if anything else follows it, they get close combat, close encounters, close quarters combat, whatever the shit that name of that ability is. They get shot for coming through the door. We need somebody to go watch our butthole. I got a feeling the aliens are trying to end around us. I'm rolling. So let's bring Mary Mallon over here. And this turn, we're going to put her on Overwatch. I Next turn, we may have her deploy the motion tracker. I don't want those guys getting an end around her coming up at us through the middle. That's exactly what they're trying to do, too. I don't think we're alone out here. Okay, so we got to set up to stop that. They're either going to try and come up around through that door. Locked and loaded. We can't risk taking a move that will potentially bring us Overwatch, though. I'm on the move. I'm so salty. This, this is such a dull way to play the game. It's so boring. So their entire team is, like, right along here, though. We need, we'll need more people over here guarding our butt. All right, so Overwatch for now. We could try and sneak up behind him or drop down on him from above. What if we drop down on him from above with a bunch of running gunshots? There's at least three of them and at least two of them are mutant elites. I don't know if that's gonna work. That's, that's a lot of potential aggression from the aliens. We know where they're all at though. Come get some. Good to go. We're gonna have the Wolverine reload. Uh, Marie Curie. Oh, Marie Curie could grenade him. Roger, if we could spot him, we could have Marie Curie just drop a grenade on a whole lot of them. That's an idea with some very serious merit. Da Vinci, you're on Overwatch this turn, just in case one of them didn't come around. Nope, they're just sitting right out there. What was that? Okay. So if they want to sit right out there like that and do whatever it is that they're doing, I'm guessing some sort of alien circle jerk. That's fine. We're going to let them do that. Then we're going to have Marie Radium Curie run out there, drop a grenade on their face, and then we're going to send in the rest of the team after Thomas Edison goes out the door with a whole bunch of Overwatch and just we'll just clean up the slop. That's, that's the way it's going to go. We'll send Edison in to clean up whatever's left of them. So Overwatch. I've got my eyes. Got it covered. I would love to spot him with Mary Mallon if there was a safe way to do that. Um, Nelson, you don't really have a whole lot to contribute to this, do you? I'm guessing no is the answer. I mean, we could theoretically bring you around over here and maybe try and set up some kind of long-range squad sight shot, but there's not really any cover for you to be in while that happens, so... Yeah, they're just sitting there. What was that? It's a bunch of aliens just sitting there. All right, well, we need to know where they're at I'm on it, Commander. before we try and throw the grenade. And for whatever reason, we can't see them. So they're... Well, we know where they're at, actually, because we can tell by what tiles we can stand in and what tiles we can't. All right, so Overwatch. Ooh, well, if they Overwatch. can't see me from there, that means I can't see them, and that means this is safe to do, then. So Come none on. of us will be able to see each other. We'll just all... You know what, aliens? We'll all go together. Hey, we'll all go together. 
Go ahead. Aye, Let's get in that smoke wagon. See what happens. All right, well, you're just going to be dead then. We don't even need extraordinary circumstances for your ass. We'll just kill you, and then we'll go on Overwatch. And thanks for the freebie. Curie, I really don't want you out there because if anybody gets shot, you can't be that someone. Because you cannot take the hit. Um, Nelson? I mean, theoretically, the situation might arise where that produces a shot. I think it's unlikely, but it's not a 0% chance. And then Overwatch. So maybe I will get to have one last blazing, glorious moment of pure awesome here as a bunch of our guys go for the run. Or somebody who is in half cover just gets shot after this guy's done moving because that could easily also happen. Although we're going to have a lot of Overwatch shots here. Yeah, well, suck it. Take that, Mutant Elite. You're dead, son. You just got wrecked. Oh, and your little pal can't see us, huh? All right, well, prepare to get grenaded then. So let's get one of our units and see what tile these guys are in, because we'll know based on where we can and cannot stand. Or not. Well, shit. All right, then, fine. Aliens are going to make us work for it. They've really retreated quite a long ways. All right, so we've got one Mutant Elite, who is all but unhittable. I think we can actually kill these guys. All right, Kiri, I want a little fabric softener. Go be my snuggle bear. Seriously, go, go be my snuggle fabric softening bear. And I would like for you to soften these gentlemen up with a nice, big, fat softening grenade. Look at this. So much delicious, snuggly goodness. <laughs> yeah, those guys are going to get shit on me. All right, so Da Vinci, what if one of them has covering fire? We need to know, and we have a unit in position to find out. Do you have covering fire? You have suppression, hyperreactive pupils, blood call, and intimidate. So the answer is no. What about your little friend there? I'm going to guess he does. We have no idea what he has. So we have to shoot at that guy then, just in case he has... Well, he's not on Overwatch. Well, shooting at him was worthwhile because it added hollow targeting, and that guy's going to be difficult to hit anyway. So... We're fully committed. Either these two aliens die this turn, or we're done dealing. So, Isaac Heading Newton, go for it. Nobody... Oh, fuck me. There's a third one. That's real bad. We have a 19% chance to hit that guy. Alright, so Da Vinci has run and gun. So does Roosevelt. If we come to here... We're going to have to risk it. We'll if go. this Mutant Elite has close encounters, we're probably fucked. Okay, he clearly does not. So we have both of these guys flying. This will absolutely activate hit and run, even if it doesn't get us the kill. I'm going to shoot this guy first. Oh, yes, the kill. Beautiful. We needed that critical. That was huge. All right, and then you get shot here, and you're dead. And that just leaves one wounded Mutant for... Actually, you know what, Isaac Newton? Now, we're going to come back to you in case we need you to suppress. So, run and gun. He could have a friend back... No, he can't, because they're out of room. All right. I'm gambling that this is the last guy. And it is a gamble. You, sir, should be dead. Of course, you should have been dead earlier when I had you flanked in the doorway, and for whatever reason, you were fucking not playing. Good work, Commander. It was not good work, Bradford. It was fucking two hours of ridiculous bullshit, boring grind of sitting in one place on Overwatch, culminating with one, like, two and a half minute battle there at the end that was actually reasonable. Operation Vengeful Hydra can lick my crusty asshole. And let me assure you, it is very, very crusty after sitting here executing this mission. It's a lot of fear, sweat, and then just like explosively anger, diarrhea. Sometimes when I get mad, I shoot a little like a terror poop out. It's not really terror, it's like rage shit. It just comes flying out of me. And let me tell you, my butthole was crusted with a thorough amount of that. This mission sucked. Also, 50 fucking aliens on a large UFO that all got pod collapse on us. Total bullshit. That spawn position is the worst possible spawn position I've ever seen on a map. Because you have no choice but to kill the leader pod first, which is going to inevitably cause pod collapse. It's it's a bad map, it's a bad starting position on what is a bad mission in what is overall kind of a shitty mod. Build 15 is really not good. I'm going to keep playing it because I don't like myself, but be aware, I know how much it's not. I, I mean, I, I understand the problems with it. It's, it's not, it's the worst one I've played of the long war. Abilities, tactical sense is really, really good. So is Sprinter, though. 
You know what? Edison has a 16 base movement. And if our goal is to get our scouts shot at, tactical sense actually makes sense. You know, I, you know what? Base movement on Thomas Edison is high enough that I'm actually going to take tactical sense. For him, I think it makes sense. Tactical sense makes sense. He's a sensible guy, that Thomas Edison. That's not actually true. It's just a thief. Whatever. Mission's over. Yeah, I know. Machiavelli got killed. We got an irrelevant level of loot. None of this is worth the sacrifice of Machiavelli. Although we did get quite a bit of stuff. Still, of course our carapace armor is damaged. It took 16 damage from a single hit. One of the only aliens that actually got to shoot at us. Except for the one that should have killed Thomas Edison and for whatever fucking bizarre flurry of logic didn't. But that, uh, that's just another thing that makes me mad. The shots that should hit never seem to, and then the ones where we just get critical cord from a fucking 1% shot. You know what? I've had enough. I'm salty. I'm not playing any more XCOM today. And maybe not for a couple days, because I did several episodes today. And I'm really not feeling enthused about the most recent build here. So I'm going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed my saltiness and the six and a half seconds of action in a 30-minute mission, you might consider dropping a like down in the comment section. Your support really does mean a lot to me. And if you'd like to see more bitching, moaning, complaining, whining, overwatch creeping, and other things that will drag out your day, you might consider subscribing as well. For the love of God, though, I don't know why. But if you do, I would appreciate it. And right now, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Maybe, if you're as big a glutton for punishment as I am, I guess. Thanks for watching.